just flip the switch. Flip, flip. I don't know nobody else that's doing this. Body start to drop, ayy. Hit the floor. Now they wanna know me. Yeah, what is the deal, good people? It's your boy, your big homie, Kickstart, back in the building. And today we got a ugly one today. We got a real, real, real nasty one today. The Desert Rat. This is the blush color Desert Rat. Um, Yeezy 500, not 700, not 350, uh, not 750, uh, 900, but, but the 500. This is a design that has been, uh, I would say, snatched uh, by many, many, many other designers. Um, the list goes on as far as H&M, Balenciaga, um, you name it, uh, right now, Gucci has one, Fendi has one, um, Louis Vuitton has one, this is a design of a sneaker that, um, when the initial sneaker released, or I would say the 750, that was the, basically the dad shoe that, uh, reinvented or, uh, reestablished its footing, no pun intended, uh, with in in the footwear world. So Yeezy or Kanye West was one of the first, if not the first person to uh, bring the dad style sneaker back into the fold and back into uh, uh, many people's eyesight. He got shot down for it. All right. Uh, uh, it's no other way to really put it. People basically were like, what the hell is going on with Kanye West? Why, why is he doing that? What's good? What's really good? That is a hideous shoe. Then once Balenciaga got a hold to it and everybody else got a hold on, hold to the concept that he was pushing now it's the big, it's the best thing since sliced bread. Yeah, I guess that's such as Kanye West's life. Nonetheless, uh, the sneaker is it's. I, I'm not going to say it's one of my better sneakers that I've purchased. However, in order for me to talk uh, amicably about this sneaker or about any sneakers, uh, and be knowledgeable about sneakers that you see on this screen. Uh, with my name and our name, LD Kicks attached to it, I need to have pretty much most sneakers out there. Moving on to the sneaker itself, uh, I mean, it's basically blush. What they calling it as blush, or um, it's a it's an off white sneaker, a tan sneaker. It's nothing much to the color. That is pretty much the color of the entire sneaker. I like what Adidas did with this sole unit. So this sole was actually featured on the uh, Kobe Bryant. It's called the KB83 when he was with Adidas back in 1998, 99-ish. This, uh, this outsole was basically featured on that sneaker. It was, it was just, it was part of Adidas' new design. First and foremost, let me also preface, this sneaker does not feature Boost. This does not feature boost. However, this outsole, um, it was for ballers. It was for, you know, basketball players. It, it really wasn't meant for uh, casual wear. Uh, the, the design of the outsole was to prevent basketball players uh, uh, from experiencing ankle roll. Um, I get it. You know what I'm saying? This, the, if anything would stop a person from experiencing ankle roll, this outsole would. You got that uh, suede upper. This does not look like Nike suede. This is that what you call high cut premium suede, if you will. Um, it has a lot of a lot of netting, a lot of uh, a lot of mesh material going on on the upper. You have that uh, that mud guard that basically surrounds. It goes from front to back from heel, just about heel to the uh, front of the of the sneaker. Um, it's a mud guard because this, well, you wanna say midsole, but you really can't say midsole on this sneaker. So it's technically a mud guard. It's for, if you step in something, it rises up. It doesn't 
basically destroy the sneaker moving up. You got some more suede material. Uh, a lot, a lot of suede usage on this on this sneaker. You have a low cut suede and the high cut suede. More mesh right up in the center, right along here towards the lateral, medi the lateral side that mesh those mesh inserts. Uh, it's just a lot of mesh, a lot of <laughs> a lot of mess, a lot of mess. So um, a lot of padding as well. Uh, I tried on an 11 and a half, which is which would be my true to size uh, uh, for any any sneaker. I, I I went up a half a size. I could get my foot in a, uh, 11 and a half, but I wanted to be comfortable, so uh, I went with this. It's okay. Uh, it's it's much better than the 11 and a half, but not by far. So if I had to say go up about a half a size with this sneaker. And so it's using Ortholite. If you can see it right up in there, we'll have that B-roll for you. Uh, Yeezy and Adidas is on the branding. You got Adidas on the medial side and branding on the outsole. And that is really, that is really about as much as uh, I can really say about this sneaker. It's, it's, it's nice. I'd probably put this on with some shorts in the summertime, something, something casual, something light, and that's it. So release, this sneaker released late last year. Well, this sneaker had two releases. So the initial release uh, was for New York and LA only. This was just like a pre-sale, pre-order type thing. You were able to get it on um, Kanye West website. Oh man, what is his website? He has so many, he has Donda. Uh, so the Yeezy Supply website, you were able to pre-sale pre these or pre-order these. And then a more general release came at about April, back in early April. So it, I'd say about April 14th. Uh, the sneaker retail for about $200. Uh, it didn't really climb that much. Uh, I was actually able to cop this sneaker from, um, from Stadium Goods only for about $255. So a $55 increase. That was it. It was, it was, it was a sneaker that people wanted, but they wasn't really thrilled about it. The 700 or 750 was actually people's more go-to for the dad shoe under Yeezy. Nonetheless, I, I think it's okay. I think it's cool. I don't think it's the best sneaker. I think it's rather ugly, but when you know how to pull a sneaker off, then anything can be made beautiful. So, um, yeah, man, listen, <laughs> I want to say, what do you think about this sneaker? You're probably going to slay me in the comment section below, but I got to do it. What do you think about the sneaker? Uh, uh, can you say it's a sneaker that you would buy if you had the chance to? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up if you're digging this video. Follow us all social media platforms. LD this, LD that. It's your boy Kickscott. I'm out of here. Peace.